happiest. I am Melissa, and if you're new here on this channel, we provide a little bit of food, a little bit of life, and a whole lot of fun. So we hope you stick around and subscribe to our channel because we want to make sure that you're getting all the good stuff. All right, so today we are actually doing fried fish and uh, festival. So this is a staple that we would have in Jamaica or in the Caribbean in general when we're going to the beach. So it's an actual beach dish. And um, if I have time, I probably escaviche it. But for the most part, it's going to be fried um, with the fry festival. So I decided that we should go ahead and film this so you guys can see how to prepare your own beach day meal. So let's get right into this video. So one of the things my mother taught me, guys, is that when you're frying fish, the fish needs to really be dry. Um, that gives you the best um, texture and crisper fish as much as possible. So shout out to you, Janet. Shout out to you. So because the fish um, is already pre-seasoned, as you can see, it was frozen and so I had it thawing out all night. So right now there's a lot of water in this and so it's not going to fry really dry if I leave it like that so what I'm gonna do while I prepare the festival I am going to just take the fish out so it can drain all the water excess water out of it it won't affect the seasoning guys too much water is not good with frying fish I learned that the hard way trust me See how much liquid is coming out of this? Look at this. Not good. Not good at all. Now, if you feel the need to put on a little bit more dry seasoning, you totally can. But for now, we're just going to leave it like this. So the next step in the process for the festival, and I'm kind of cheating here, you can make festival from scratch, which I have, but we don't have time for that. So just last weekend in the store, I picked up this festival mix. And there are multiple different brands that you can use, guys. So this is just the one that I saw in my grocery store. So we don't have a huge selection here in Charleston as we would have had in New Jersey. Or if you're living in Florida or New York, you would have different brands. But I've used uh, the Grace brand before and it was super awesome. So I'm expecting that these will be just as good. So I'm going to try one first and then maybe do both of them, depending on how hungry my family is going to be. So the recipe calls for one cup of water if you use the entire bag so that's what we're gonna do. One cup of water. And then you knead with your hand. So I made sure that my hands are clean. But what my mother also taught me is that you can go ahead and use a spoon first. So I'm grabbing my spoon. I'm just gonna use a spoon of this size. And this gives a little air into the mix so that it's not as tough as we would say in Jamaica. Like not too hard. So she uses a spoon first. So see guys, just like that you have your dough. Now the next step is to let this sit for 15 minutes, cover it with like a damp uh, paper towel. Let it sit for 15 minutes so that the dough can naturally rise. Then we're gonna separate it into small even pieces. Hopefully we can get about 12. I decided to just go with 12. I think that's good enough for three of three people. All right guys, so I'm getting all the excess water off. So again, you need to make sure it is hot. I'm just gonna sprinkle back a little bit more garlic, okay? Because you can't have too much garlic. Okay. Hey, boy. Come. All right, guys. So I was out here earlier while everyone was inside getting the fish prepping. But we doing it on the grill. We find it on the grill. You don't want to get the house fishy, so I had to warm the grill up. So I had the oil, the pan, everything should be at the right temperature. So see, so you put the fish in. 
they can just start sizzling instantly, all right? And this is what you call a Dutch pot. Okay, guys. All right, so for the escovitch sauce on top, all you need is some carrots, onion, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, okay, that is it. Now make sure your oil is hot, which as you can see, we brought out like a little pan, and I'm just gonna put it in and wash carefully, okay? Distilled white vinegar, okay? So I'm gonna do two capfuls. Give it a zest. Yep. And then you add in just a little bit of water, and then you stir and you let sink. That's it. Simple, easy, and you do not overcook it because you want to get that crunch when it's on top of the fish so you don't want it to be overcooked. to the next thing as you can see this sat for about 20 minutes it's nice and soft just so we need it I'm gonna roll the toast a little bit up more okay so I'm gonna take in small pieces and you roll them like sausages And the other part of it is you just flatten it a little bit. So I'm just gonna rest these here and eventually they will um, rise. So we're getting ready to check out the fish. Those three are mine, and then the other two are yours, okay? <laughs> <laughs> guys so it's been about 30 minutes and we're almost done we have the last fish in with some of the festival and they're looking mighty nice they're looking good looking good all right guys so the cooking is done it is eating time okay as you can see this one already started on the festival and you can see by his face it tastes good um, the neighbors kept walking by. It is early and they were like, mm, something's smelling good. The doggies would not leave the area because the fish smells so good, okay? Why like this dog so good? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Just the right consistency, fish. guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Alright, so we're going to kind of show you guys what the end looks like and cute. But before we do that, what do they need to do, babe? Don't forget to like, 
subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. So we got videos coming every week, Sundays. Let's go. 1,000 subscribers or more. Let's go. Here we go.